There's Osborne's, a little neighborhood store that seems to be a landmark. What street is this? I forget. 53. This is Route 53 in all its glory. And here's the Coy and Demure. Somewhat difficult to spot, but it's there nonetheless, trailhead. We're at the upper northern edge of Lansing Bennett, and we're now going to work our way to the parking lot following the trail directions provided at the good old Bay Circuit Alliance website. Oh my, look at the hollow tree. Nice. Let me get back in the woods. So it's a fairly dense little woods. Up, oh, flushed a rabbit. the white trail you mostly use. For some reason, the town of Duxbury likes to run the Bay Circuit on the white trails. They occasionally drift to trails of other co color coatings. But you should take heart because Duxbury actually follows its own stuff. Their color codes make sense. Unlike other places I've been, who knew that you could have color codes for trailblazing and they would follow a logical pattern. Gotta love it. So the trail starts along this little pond and then soon ascends and a hillish thing and then it works its way south where it's not too far from the Duxbury bogs Take our leave of the part of the trail that runs pond side. And the ascent begins. Different batches of mushrooms are showing up. Deciduous tree leaves appear to be getting ready to give up the ghost for winter. It's not too steep, reasonably pleasant. Mosquitoes have been vanquished. This is interesting. I wonder if this was some kind of excavation. Looks like it could have been. Looks like the kind of thing trail bikes like. A little flume. And there, we've reached the height of land. So that's our way back to Osborne's store and Route 53. There's the pond below as viewed from these stirring heights. 
Here's a little side game trail or something. And we're heading this way with the patented Bay Circuit Alliance trail direction indications. They like to blaze paint styly in Duxbury. In some ways, I think that that might make sense because it's harder to mess with paint blazes than it is to mess with plastic ones. And here's an intersection where we part company with the white blaze thing, which heads off this way. This is the direction we came in. And now we're going to spend a little time with Blue Braze. And then we'll run into new potential excitements. do a little bit of a dog leg. This I think heads off to private property somewhere and we run with a bit of the blue down here and then it will rejoin the white. understory carpet of wintergreen okay and this is our way along bay circuitry Duxbury provides excellent maps of its actual parcels but it's the way it conveys the Bay Circuit with it within the parcels is larded with ambiguities. So you have to repeatedly check your bearings. But here we have the unusual actual Bay Circuit thing nailed in, which is departure from their usual practice of just painting the trees. Not a lot of confidence markers though. And it's a pleasant little roll. Uh, yet more oddball shelf fungi. This is the way we came, which eventually brings you back to Osborne's. And we're reasonably certain if we head along this way, we'll probably find the remainder of the trail. It kind of crosses the parking lot entrance trail we ran into. This is almost like a drumlin or something. It's not really an esker, and nor is it a moraine. It's somewhat drumlin-ish, but I don't know. Drumlins don't necessarily occur this far south. Some little knoll of an origin as yet undetermined. And there's the white trail heading. I think this is what goes back to the parking lot here. And this heads So, the white trail it is, 
we came from that direction. We're on a little bit of unindicated mini switchbacky things designed to take us more gently down the side of the slope. Oh man, there's some nice lichen. They're still on the way. My intrepid forward scout is making sense of the nuances as I try to keep the big picture layout of the place in my head. It's in good shape. Another place that doesn't seem to be getting nuked very much. Lansing Bennett. Switchbackaroo down to the base of whatever that knoll was. And there's Harry waiting on Bratwurst. <laughs> 